Hi everyone, and welcome back. It's really nice to have you here. So in this painting, I wanted to sort of reintroduce myself to classic landscape painting since it had been a while, and I have been so heavily focused on figure paintings. So in terms of process, just like most of my other landscape paintings, I started this one by painting what was furthest back in the distance and moving forward. And something that I knew from the beginning with this piece is that it was going to be very detail heavy, so I made sure to lay down a lot of base colors for dirt, grass, rocks, and trees and such. And honestly, once I got the distant skyline blocked in, I just focused on what components of the composition really stuck out to me, just trying to be patient and not rush anything. And honestly, I typically have a lot of trouble painting rocks and cliff faces and things like that. So I just did my best to observe the highlights and shadows and block them in as best as I could. And something that really helped with the convincing finishing details on these rocks and cliffs was the addition of texture. It really gave them a 3D look. And when painting most of these trees, I just did a bit of a progression from very dark shadows to light highlights in order to give them mass and volume. And so this phase right here is when I started to get into more of the foreground details. And you can start to see the piece really come together and make sense. And I sort of had a love-hate relationship with these trees in the foreground because they were extremely time consuming, but they looked great once they were done. And they took such a long time because I really took the time to get the texture and details of all the pine needles. And from this point on, you'll start to see me really jump into the details in the foreground, uh, which were pine needles on the ground, small shrubs and bushes, and other rock textures and things. And in my opinion, these were the small details that really brought the piece to life and made it feel like a lived-in world. And after some small adjustments and tiny details, the piece was about done. And all in all, this piece took about a few weeks to finish, working on it an average of about five hours a day. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a full detailed video of this painting since it actually sold the day that I had posted it and the couple picked it up that same day. But here's a short little video from my phone that I took. And if you want to see the high quality photo of this piece or any of my other landscape pieces, you can always go to my website, which is austinhowlett.com. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.